So, let's see what we got. We're on patch, what? 20.3? So, it's a small patch. So, the rotation, how it works, is just gonna be... Uh, a major patch and a minor patch. So, we got our major patch with Sylvia, which honestly did not feel like a major patch. And now we have a minor patch. So, first thing here is Adriana. Her damage is going down from dual modes from 92 to 88. I remember reading this from last night, and yeah. I... Look, again, I must, have to, I must sound like a broken record every time I say this, but, um... Nimble Neuron does not balance around NA. They balance around Korea. I don't know what Korean team meta looks like. I don't even know what team meta looks like. I'll put air quotes of meta. Um, but yeah, this is... I can't see this being justified. I can see Adriana being kind of a menace, but not duos of all things. I can see her being a menace in squads. But duos? Nah. Squads with two ping? Yeah. Kiara. Her win rate kind of wild, stat wise, and duos. That's because no one plays duos. <laughs> the level of skill you get in duos is actually the like so low. Like I'll, I'll be weird, I'll be real, because like I play with uh, well anybody, and it's just like it's a free game. Like just think for two seconds, play someone you know how to click their buttons, and you'll win the game. Like no one tries in duos. Hey, how am I doing today? Patch review? Yeah, we're a little tired, but we're gonna do a quick patch review and then we'll go back into the games. What's up, man? How are you, man? Alright, so we have Kiara. Her passive movement speed went down a little, went down by 2%, uh, at max rank at least. And then 1% at second rank, and say the same with the first rank. And then her W is actually gaining a second across the board. I don't know how I feel about this. Is this where- I don't think this is what, like, I thought was the issue with Kiara, though. At no point has it ever been like, damn, Kiara can chase the fuck out of me. Like, is that- that's never the case. It's always just like, oh, damn, I walked into Kiara and died. If we're gonna nerf her, just shift power from her ulti to something else. Her ulti is just way too strong, in my opinion. Chasing's annoying as fuck. You play Yuki, dude. Talk, talk about chasing. Is the Kiara ult the real problem? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's how tangy she is aside with her ulti as well. I do think that probably this was... I do think this is going to be good long term, but this doesn't address the main issue. I do think this probably still didn't need to happen though. So I'm not, I'm not against this change at all. You're keeping these dumb nerfs and then do the correct nerf. Yeah, I agree. I know exactly where you're coming from. They need to do the actual, like, change the actual issues, not just bandage patch everything. But hey, it's a step in the right direction, hopefully, and hopefully they don't go her. So, Fiora. Her Q Fente is gonna get some extra range and a little more whiffs. It's gonna be longer and wider. Ooh. I can see Ashian's pogging right now. And then her W... Second attack damage ratio. Wow, that is going down. That's going down by 20%. Holy shit. Damn, that sucks. I mean, I agree that uh, Fior was a tad bit strong. Okay, more than a tad bit, but damn, that is... That is a uh, big chunk of percentage, man. Huh. I... Yeah, I don't know. Dude, they just gutted this character, I think. Maybe... I, I always get an over-exaggeration. Gutting is definitely... Uh, you know, probably too much. But then they did this... Yeah, exactly what Noremi said. They did this on top of the R nerf as well. I don't think both of these should have won at the same time. This should have been one or the other. It's not that bad. She's losing 20% of her damage. Max rank. And she's losing some of her early power. You don't max this away later, by the way. You do WE then ulti. You do WE passive ulti. So this is until way later. But getting hit t from 10 to 6% hurts. Because that's where you guys be on for most of the game. 
Wouldn't she have stat check anyways? Yeah, and then when you never stat check, you know what happens? <laughs> they become garbage. Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna be the person to scream. Oh my gosh, he's garbage. You know, that's what the YouTube tile is gonna be. Um, but yeah, no, this is, this is really bad. This is gonna definitely hurt Fjord's win rate, like, pretty significantly. That's probably the biggest change. I didn't see this yesterday. Wow, that's... Huh. I do not agree with this. If you're a one shot, I don't think she will. No. I am curious to see how, how this ends. Hello? Curious to see how this ends up uh, being. Heart. Damage on squad mode going back up to 99%. Alright, so look, I'm gonna be real. Uh, I've, I've changed my opinion on heart, and I'm, I'm gonna credit the boy Skaz here. Skaz's build is really fucking good. I can't route that thing for the life of me properly, but every time I see that man on it, he is... He, he knows how to work it real well. This thing probably should not be going back up 99%. Heart's actually... I don't know a lot about squads, but I know Heart's super, super, super good in squads. Her ulti interactions are good as is. Her damage is really good. Her kiting potential is insane. Charm sets up her entire team. Like, this character is nuts in squads. Probably shouldn't be buffing up her... Uh, what's it called? Probably should be buffing up her squad damage. Like, this is a really good character squads. And if her base attack power going down by 3, and then her attack power level going up. Um, hmm. I mean, this is a stat change. It's not really much to say here. Just shifting numbers around. Young well, attack power per level going up per level. So it's actually, um, this is an interesting one. Because that means this is towards the late game. And Hyun's late game is okay. It's not going to make a huge change, but it really is. His late game is okay. This might make a little bit of a difference. I'm not going to have a knee-jerk reaction to Hyun game buffs, but like I I'm a fan of just seeing slightly Hyun's buffs to late game. His late game is kind of meh. Which should be fine, because honestly, his early game is so dumb that he should have a weak late game. So I, I really don't want to see a, a strong Hyun late game. That makes no sense. Plus 618 in the late game? Yeah, but remember, that's over time, and you're adding that top of abilities and your ratios and stuff like that. Fjord's just a pub stomper? Eh, I don't agree. I think Fjord could do a lot of work really easy. Sylvia, oh boy. <laughs> Her attack speed is going from 0.525 to 0.535. Yo, y'all know that Sylvia has some of the worst base stats in the game? And her attack speed is actually some of the worst in the game, if you can't tell just by looking at this. You would think getting 40% on- or 45%, I apologize, on your passive would be an amazing thing. But that just makes you a normal character. This shit doesn't do anything. It's a step in the right direction. Uh, but yeah, she might be able to kill a dog. Pog. Radar gun damage going up is actually kind of significant. Kind of significant. It's not going to be enough to do anything, but, like, for amp builds, this is going to help. I don't think these changes really address her problems anyways. The thing with that buff Sylvia is a skill amp buff you'll see later. Hey, why are you spoiling? Some him. Um, and then we see, we have health. Oh, look, Lee Lin finally got on there. Pog, less health regen. When are we nerfing this? Godforsaken character. Alright. Yuki health regen going lower. Magnus health regen going lower. This doesn't really do anything for anyone. That doesn't change anything. Cicela, play with his E projectiles a little harder to hit and has a more accurate hitbox. Okay. I mean, it's just going down very slightly. And it's going to be a tad bit slower. Um, I'm fine with this. I mean, I like honestly, you'll never notice this in a game, to be honest. You will honestly never notice. If you ever notice this in a real match, I'll be genuinely surprised. Like, they'll have to be like at the very tip of it and like walk away. But yeah. I, I don't think you ever notice this. This really doesn't change anything for Cell. She's, she's gonna be still as strong as she was. It's 6% smaller. I don't think, I don't think it's gonna matter. Yeah, MSU will probably know. So yeah, the MSU tenant knows quite a bit. Like, I, I know it was Zaheer. And speaking of Zaheer, his W is... <laughs> is now slower. Pog. Why do they keep doing this? They did this before. This was a change they made, uh, like, two patches? Two, three patches ago? They made it slower once. They're making it slower again. I just... 
Who is dominating with Zaheer so much that they like, hey, let's just keep making his W slower. I'll find this fuck Zaheer. Zaheer does not deserve this, man. I don't I don't know. This is a change I just don't agree with. Is Zaheer gutted? He's not gutted, but this is just... They keep doing this for some reason. Even with a lot of lobbies. The lag in Ohio server is enormous. I mean, I guess if you're playing on two ping, this probably makes makes more sense than playing on uh, 60 ping. Pistol, skill lamp. Ah, uh, this is what you meant. Skill lamp was from 1.7 to 1.9. Right, it's actually really good. That's really good for every. That's really good for every pistol user. What the fuck? So there's a buff to Aya, Iso, and Sylvia. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like what's gonna happen here is they're gonna buff this. They're gonna see that like Aya's too strong, right? And then they're just gonna gut Aya. There's always a scary thing to change, I feel. Buffy skill lamp. It's too because Aya and Aya are pretty good. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if anyone was really out here complaining that skill lamp wasn't giving or pistol wasn't giving enough skill up. In my opinion, that's this is a bit of a weird change to see. Uh, assault rifle losing some mean ad. Were people running assault rifle? I feel like I see AK now, and Gatling. Gatling's like the only one. Like I see AK more. He would just go AK? Yeah, I haven't seen Gatling in a minute. Actually, I haven't even seen XCR more than I've seen Gatling recently. Alright. Oh, wait, what? What? <laughs> 18 foot spears losing. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all did this? On top of this? Damn, they really just said, fuck Fiora. Mm. Alright. They were like, hey, Fiora, let's go for it. Let's go, let's go for a quick walk and, you know. <laughs> 18 spear never targeting Crick Kai. True, you're right. That's, uh... I mean, look, I know a ton of attack power isn't a lot at the end of the day. But like you look at this and again they went over the course of a fight. How's this proccing twice on your W? This is proccing on your E. Uh you're losing a ton of damage on your entire kid already. Dude, poor Fiora. Like poor Fiora just lost so much. Is that they lost like okay, what I meant was if it's by itself, right? Let's say the only nerf was uh 18 foot spear lost 10 power. Fiora's fine. Like right, like Fiora's Fiora. Fiora's fine. There's like a very small difference. You'll notice in some games you'll notice a lot. You add this on top of everything else? They just said, look, I'm going to take the, the dog for a drive real quick. And then suddenly the dad came home by himself. That's, that's just what happened to Fiora. Fiora was just left out in the field. So rip Fiora. That's fun. We have guitar. Teen Spirit Enad goes down. Who the hell plays Teen Spirit? They told Fiora to look at the flowers. If you ever guess that reference, I love you. Um, uh, best season, by the way. Ten Teen Spirit lost E in that. Who is? Yeah, I know it's for A Heart, but who's playing Teen Spirit? A Heart's wild? It's wild of mastery. But you know what I always feel about uh, A Heart? I always feel like A Heart is just worse than going AR builds. That's my take. I feel like I'd rather go AR Aya. Like, you do the same thing, but, like, your late game is so stupid on air, Aya. Okay, yes, I know I have a build on it. I know, but who's using it currently? Nobody currently runs it. It's not a popular thing. Ah, that's a weird one. Harp is getting nerfed. Rip Sinner. Um, I actually, I truly don't know how strong Harp is. I remember Skaz mentioned last night that he believes that, like, Harp was really, really strong. And that it just wasn't being played for some reason. Uh, but I... I don't know. 
I haven't really seen it. I haven't really ever been like destroyed by it and be like, wow, this thing's disgusting. I have seen her do I've seen Sinner do really good on it. Granted, these are dual lobbies, so you know. Uh but yeah, I don't know. Harp is a really interesting one. I don't really have much of an opinion on this. It loses five amp, it's probably still gonna be fun. Hey, how's it going, Mizutani? And thank you, Val, for the follow, friend. Viral Blade, getting buffed for the third patch in a row. Wait, holy shit. This thing started off at like 45? This thing's not like a 53. Vibro Jackie buff? No, no, no. This is a future Vibro Crick Kai buffed. Let's get it. But yeah, this is uh, this is a pretty nice buff for, for Dagger Jackie. Which I personally don't think she needs. She kind of, you know. That's all I'm saying. You've seen nothing but Dagger Jackies in your hotel? Oh, you're going to hate me tonight then. Because guess what's happening? I'm going to have a guide on it tonight. Good luck in hotel. I already had the video done. It's fully explained and everything. I told I told people how to like switch up their builds, RNG items, everything. Kibobo, appreciate the follow, friend. Is it here W nerf? Yeah. Durando getting nerfed. Okay, this is targeting Taxi who only plays Durando QR for some reason. I he he only plays this for some reason, but yeah, this doesn't really matter. It doesn't do anything. Oh, it's a buff. It's not a nerf. I'm sorry. My bad. I read this backwards. Yeah, this doesn't do anything. Durandal still sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Rapier Fiora, Rapier Kiara. This, I mean, they're, they're going to run better things. Glove. Divine Fist attack power. Yo, okay. So if I read correctly, maybe I'm really stupid. Let me just double check real quick. Because, you know, there's some weapons in this game I just look at and I kind of forget them right off the bat. Is in Divine Fist. He has minus MS on it. Yeah, that's the problem. Not anything else. The stats on it suck. <laughs> Brazil gloves, though. Brazil gloves are kind of hype. Brazil gloves getting uh, buffs is kind of hype, though. 48. That's not a bad number to have on it. That's not really much to say there. I don't think it's going to change much. Maybe Brazil Golem might do something. Divine Fist just it needs a minus NS. It doesn't have enough stats on it. Brazil Glove actually has really good stats on it. It just it also has minus NS. Is Brazil the one Hyunwo loses? Uh, no, but you actually use it, but it is there. Sure, kid. Pedal Torrent losing some Enad. No, I don't think anyone's crying over this. A Zerd Dagger losing Enad. I am crying over this. I mean, it's not really a big change, but yeah, Zerd Dagger is just really, really strong. Uh, I don't know if this is a change that Zerdag needed, but Zerdag is a two-zoner, and is just like an early game killer, builds on any shuriken character, and you just murder everybody. And it's kind of been that way for a long time. Honestly, at this point, I'm not even like two against nerfing like two-zoners, I think it's just more so buffing three-zoners more, and we probably just need more items, honestly. It's just way too easy to make this. This is just so easy. Zerdag is way too strong. And then we have David Sling. I've been hearing talks of some special David Sling builds. Haven't seen anything yet. Maybe Throws to Sella is the move. Maybe Throws to Here is vibing with David Sling. Maybe Adriano David Sling. Pog. That's an item? Yeah, it's a regen one. It's actually not bad. And then we have Creed. On the night, critical damage increase goes from 25 to 20%. It's a good change. This shit needs to happen a while ago. Kree does a lot, man. When Kree builds are online, they're not that fun to deal with at times. And Kree is definitely one of the reasons, because now it's just being, you know, it's just adding so much damage to your kit. What? Creed buffed? I didn't say Creed was buffed. Why y'all BMing me? No, you? Wait, what? The ward again on a running damage increase. I mean, because it increases your crit strike damage. Overall. Don't you mean Dallin OP? Nerf HP regen. True! Dallin do be kind of busted. And then we have Mastery. Increase required to experience from Defense Mastery. Level 2. to Okay, so you need, you need slightly more... You need to be in combat slightly longer to just to get more, like, to get early levels. Uh, I don't think this really affects anything, to be honest. Is 
It's saying the stat of critical damage increase will change from 25 to 20. Not that crit damage was increased. Yeah. Crit, crit got nerfed. Got nerfed by 5%. I like how they didn't nerf Zuka's HP regen. That would have fixed it for sure. Yeah, nice slap on the wrist. Systems. While reducing the LP system points for position, the general LP gain has decreased a bit. Why would this help you? They increase LP again? Really? We've oh, no, no. We've added more weight to players to player kill solo mode and squad wise to kill entire teams. Okay, that's good. Hey, aggro, pog. Since the LP system is a point system, you may wonder how many points you receive per kill or how many points do I get for first place solo. Unfortunately, there should not be a generalization of this. Eliminated targets are different per each person, greatly var varying final LP. Okay, so what, you want to kill people again? No, they decreased LP gains? Wait, no, they didn't. They added weight to collect to player kills. They're referring to the last patch. Yeah, that's what I think too. They're referring to the last patch. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Miscommunication. Yes, yes, yes. That's exactly what happened here. Impulse. Yeah, overall, it was decreased, and now they add, they they banded. They put a little bandaid on it. And then we have a bug fixes. Characters no longer frequently repeat voice lines when opening boxes. <laughs> Look at you, Sylvia. Uh, indicator no longer incorrectly moves in the direction of the mouse cursor when using Breath of the Dragon. The jungle weapon skill. Never noticed that. Sylvia's sound effects have been adjusted and fixed to be in line with game sound. Sylvia's playable pog! Still doesn't fix solo squad cues? Nope. And it doesn't fix a lot of other issues that are really prominent right now in terms of LP. But uh, I think it's very clear that they do not give a fuck about uh, what people do in terms of LP. Because LP is just going to be removed anyways and moved... Like moved away from, and we're just going into ranks, so they don't like they don't really care. They're just gonna be focused on ranks mode. Not Pog, she's really gonna be she's really boring to watch. True. All right, guys, that's gonna be all for the uh, what's it called? What are all those things? Patch notes review. Like, comment, subscribe. Love me. Yo, subscribe right now, monkey gun. All right, selling out done. Ooh.